Can you explain what happened on the first goal uh, that Columbus scored? Yeah, we just uh, kind of in you know in the back five we got drawn out. Um, you know there was there was guys kind of out of position. Um, you know at times, and um, you know you never want to get. Uh, you know the the balls in behind are the most dangerous balls that that you have to defend, and um, you know those are what we need to clean up. And, and we we watched film on it, and you know understood that um, the gaps that that we created for them uh, were a little bit too big, and um, you know we we're, we're going to fix that. You said the gaps that you created. Uh, what kind of caused that? Was that just moving uh, too far ball side, or not far enough, or what was it? No, I think it was like I said, it was just getting you know having guys get drawn out at, mm -hmm. at the wrong time, and. Um, yeah, just just not really affecting the play, and then and then the ball, you know, the ball in behind was it was a it was a good touch, good ball in behind, but um, yeah, we just we have to defend in, inside out, like like we're uh, like we're taught, and um, you know, keep it keep it near the sideline. Have you all struggled with that this year to defend inside out to kind of keep pushing the ball towards the touchline? No, I don't think we've struggled. I just you know I think that was a specific scenario where we where we conceded a goal. Um, you know you can you can look at all all the goals that we've conceded. Not every single one is going to be you know the same you know and the and the reason why. So um, yeah, we're we're really you know working hard to to make sure that our back line is is solid defensively and that we keep a keep a clean sheet. Looking ahead to DC, it's an interesting game. They're obviously in some rough form, have had some rough results, but they've got this new manager, obviously. Uh, what are the what are the challenges of, of a game like this? Yeah, well, first things first is we don't, you know, look at the their past results at all. Um, you know, we don't want to read into anything like that. You know, we know they're a good team with, with a, a coach that, you know, is, is a world-class player and, um, you know, has a big resume. So um, they're obviously going to try to come here and, and get a result like any other team would. And, um, you know, we need to be ready at home. This is, you know, huge, a massive game for us um, to, to try and climb up the table and, and get closer to where we, where we want to be. Has there been a main kind of point of focus in training this week and just in terms of what you guys want to accomplish? I know you don't want to like give away the game plan or anything, but is there anything in particular you want to try to show on Saturday or on Sunday? Yeah, I think just being at home, we want to move the ball quickly side to side, um, you know, runs in behind, getting in behind their back line uh, and creating goal scoring chances uh, and, and opportunities. And I think we've done that well. I thought against Columbus offensively, we were very, very dangerous. Um, you know, guys were uh, making great, great runs. Um, you know, we were moving the ball from from the midfield line to the forward line very well. Um, guys were turning on the on the half turn and uh, progressing the ball. So we just need to continue what we were doing offensively uh, in the last game and, and bring that into this game at home. What are the challenges for the team? You, you talk about you know not wanting to get beat in behind by runners, but also you kind of want to be on the front foot, trying to get the press on. Uh, what are the challenges in trying to balance manage that kind of? Yeah, that's exactly right. You know, that's that's kind of the the fine line and the balance that you need. You know, you want to, especially at home, you want to be on the front foot. You want to be pressing, um, and you know, really putting that team under uh, you know a lot of a lot of pressure. But you also don't want to get done in mind. So it's kind of that fine line and understanding. You know, the guys next to you and their, and their positioning. Um, you know, being in the right positions will help you. Uh, you know, do that. So. Uh, like I said, at home we're going to press. We're going to we're going to be very aggressive because uh, we need these three points. Since you've come into the team, you know Juanjo has been here. Uh, what have you made of him? Just kind of you're playing kind of alongside of him. Yep. He's on that right side of the back line. Yeah, I've been impressed from him. Um, you know, he's a he's a bigger guy. He's he's got a good presence to him as a center back. Um, so I'm I'm happy to be playing alongside of him. Looking ahead. Questions for Gonzalo. Just looking ahead to the game uh, on Sunday. Um, what are the challenges that a team like this presents for you? A team that's kind of been on a bad run of form, had an ugly result their last time out. Well, I would say that they have very good players. I mean, when you look at the roster and the starting lineup, they have very good players. Rodriguez very good, Fontas very good. Um, so they have uh, Benteke maybe, maybe available. So we will see. One, one B? Okay. Well, we were <laughs> expecting maybe something happens in the next few days, but anyways, they have this kid Barry that is very active. Uh, it's been a challenge at times for defenders to track him back. So it's just it's just a team uh, that has a very specific way to build up from the back that uh, actually is very interesting, and, uh, and it can certainly cause problems. So I think at times 
games that, like the last one against Philadelphia was a really circumstantial. Like uh, you can go for maybe two zero ahead in the first half, and then suddenly you are losing, and then you start to have a, probably a, a poor form in the second half that puts a lot of goals in the back of your net. But certainly that game could have gone in a very different way in the first few minutes. Maybe a handball, maybe not. So you know, um, uh, it's a team that presents challenges, and, and we will need to be ready. What did Philadelphia do well in that game that you guys can kind of apply to this particular matchup? Well, I think that the type of pressure that they applied in, in certain moments, in key moments of the game, second half, they were very aggressive in the pressure, and then a lot of goals came out of transition. Um, so I think that's something that we look at. Probably it's not our main style, trying to just, just defend in a lower block and counter, but what we can certainly do in certain moments of the game. I was asking Brooks this because he was talking about, you know, the Columbus's first goal, he kind of got beaten in behind, but you also want to be on the front foot pressing the opposition. Um, what is, how, how do you balance that correctly in terms of being, you know, pressing how you want to press, but also being secure against counterattacks? Well, I think that specific play came out of, uh, uh, I think, Purata step up and try to put pressure in the midfielder. First of all, it was a little bit of a gap there in the midfield, in the in the middle. So maybe we need to solve that one with our center meets. But after that, we have principle, right? So we put pressure on the ball. The rest of the unit need to provide cover. And, and probably we didn't do at the extent that was needed in that specific play. Uh, also defending our passes, that, that pass in between Alan and, and Andrew has to be protected. And, and they penetrate on the outside channels, not in the inner channels. So certain things like that, and obviously protecting the crosses in the far post is important. But uh, again, there are many, many things that we watch on the film that we can do better in that specific play. You said last week you were still trying to figure out what your best 11 is. Uh, was the group we saw against Columbus, is that about as close as we can get with this current group? Well, uh, I think uh, yes, it's very close. It's more than my best 11. I try to, to find uh, the, best, the best lineup and, and to be consistent with it because we haven't been consistent. So I want to, as much as I can, try to repeat lineups, maybe one change, two maybe, but not too much. I try to not to touch the team um, a lot. So, so we will see. There can be changes in this game. Maybe I repeat the lineup, but I want to be more consistent in general. Uh, is George available for this one? Yes, yes, he's been training normal, um, so he's, he's available. Uh, what is uh, Rosetto's status? Rosetto, not yet, not uh, ready. Uh, we'll see the progression, and that is, is a very awkward injury that he had, so uh, uh, it's, it's obviously up to, up to him just, just feeling pain free, and then from there we can progress. And how about Emerson Heinemann? Uh, will he be able to play the rest of the season at all? Yeah, I, I assume okay. I assume he will. It's just uh, yeah, again similar to Rosetto. Is once once he's uh, pain free, he can start the process on the field and and, and be back. I think both are close, okay. but uh, we will see. One more injury. Yeah. One. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. there was a report about Brad Guzan uh, potentially being ready to play maybe later on this year. Now I know he can't play in MLS because he's on the season-ending injury list. Um, but can you kind of provide us an update on? A report. How he looks, yeah. A report from me. whom? <laughs> uh, from uh, Felipe, who is oh. here from time to time. As, as Felipe, <laughs> <laughs> he has he has probably better better uh, information than me, so I haven't heard anything okay. on that. I, I know he's been very good. He's been progressing good, but to what extent do? It's, it's hard to tell with this type of injuries, right? right? So um, I, I know he's been doing good. Miles is doing actually pretty good as well. Ossie, they are they are um, they are doing very well now. How fast they can be back, I still don't know. And especially with these type of injuries, you, it's hard to predict uh, timelines. So. All right, you, you brought up Ozzy, so now I got to ask you. About yeah, him too. no, but um, I'm, I'm kind of curious because he was obviously so important to what you wanted to build here at the start of the season. Um, do you feel like he has an interest to, to keep playing beyond this year, and would would you be interested in having him back on your team? Well, uh, I like I'm, I I'm certainly sure that he wants to continue playing for sure. Like he's a competitor; he doesn't want to retire like this. So, mm -hmm. I'm sure he wants to continue, um, and we will see. I mean, um, as you said, he was 
kind of a very important part when we designed this, this 2022 roster, his presence in the middle, his leadership, and also mentoring some of the uh, young, talented players we have in that position. Uh, unfortunately, now he can only do the mentoring side, but not the on-the-field duties. So uh, he's still being very active, talking to, to some of them um, and, and, and trying to you know guide them a little bit. And uh, that's very positive for Mossy. But I think, uh, yes, he wants to continue his career. I want to ask about another midfielder. What have you thought of uh, Santiago Sosa's performances uh, in particular and, and build up over the last uh, couple games in particular, Cincinnati and Columbus? Uh, pretty good. I mean, I think um, he's uh, coming back to his true level. I think still he, he, he needs things to improve in the, to get probably where he was last year. Little things, but that, that will come with time on the field. I mm -hmm. think there are things like <clears throat> understanding when to press, when to stay, little things like times times to be a little bit less aggressive, but <clears throat> more tactically organized. But uh, I think that will come with time, and, and he so far so good. While we're checking out on folks, how is Miles <coughs> rehab going? Miles, yes, uh, very good, pretty good actually. Um, uh, he's he's uh, very powerful. His uh, his body is very strong. He, so he I think uh, that helps with that rehab and and how his muscles operate after a, an injury like this and how strong he is in general. So I think that helps. So he's uh, uh, he's progressing very well. I want to ask you something that is kind of a, a conversation among some fans. When they see the team um, concede goals, they say, "Well, we should we should sit back and, and play on the counter. That should be the way that we play." Um, but of course, you know, you and pretty much every manager here has always wanted to dominate possession and, and play on the front foot. So, how would you kind of explain that to somebody who thinks that um, and how you can still create uh, breaks on you know attacking opportunities through that possession style game? Well, uh, <laughs> there are many things to say about that yeah. <laughs> uh, and explain, but what I would say is common sense. If, if I, I believe, it's probably a belief, but I believe that if you give the uh, initiative to the opponent to be on your own half and you are under pressure and they are having numbers inside the box or, or just uh, because what I'm saying is sitting back and then you know having probably a, a five for one that I imagine that's what they think and then you know having a lot of crosses inside the box and just by a matter of volume they can create a lot of chances on you and believing that just in four or five counters you can win the game I would say that I don't think that's possible or, or that's not uh, the best way to approach yeah. or, or the most um, probable uh, way to, to win a game. I believe the opposite. I believe that the more you are in the front foot, the more you are in the attacking half, the more you are in the opposite opposite uh, box, I think the more chances you will have in front of goal, the more goals you score, and the less the opponent, the less chances the opponent will have. What has happened this year is that most of the time, with dominating possession, we create more and better chances than the opponents in the majority of the games, but the few that we concede our goals, and that's been the challenge. It's not about uh, the probabilities. The probabilities actually are on our side. Like if you check certain stats, like expected points, for example, that uh, uh, is basically your expected goals versus the opposite expected goals, and any differential I think is 0 0.3 differential. You should win the game, and how many points we should have if that would be true. So, uh, which is very is, is the probabilities in every game is like that. Mm -hmm. So, so we 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 would be pretty high understandings. So that's the logic I, I work with and I operate with this. I believe more you have to attack to score goals, not yeah. defend and counter. Um, and also, I don't think we have a team only to defend. I don't think we have that type of team. The, the build of the roster is not for defending, it's for attacking. And I think that's what we are focused a little bit more. But obviously, defending better in certain moments and those transition moments or in set pieces or, or in just, just lapses that we get in certain plays, that's what we try to solve. Gonzalo, how va? you? Yeah. Bien, bien. But you talk about a rival that is so needed of points like you, no? Además, ya de que con otros objetivos, eh, viene ahí tan valiante, viene de, de una derrotadura, eh, pero los puntos valen lo mismo para todos. 
Sí, creo que los dos tenemos mucha urgencia en ganar este partido, así será. Eh, quizás la gente, la primera pregunta que me hacían era un poco de esto, cómo enfrentar a un rival que, que no viene en buena racha. Y, y bueno, tampoco es que nosotros podamos presumir de venir una, una muy buena racha, así es que tomarlo eh, como un partido que debemos de ganar, estamos en casa, independientemente de que el rival venga de una derrota fuerte, eh, creo que a veces eso te motiva más a salir adelante y a cerrar espacios y a dar un doble esfuerzo para no tener dos resultados así al hilo. Entonces nosotros tenemos que pensar que va a ser un rival que nos va a exigir bastante, que va a ser difícil de, de, de penetrar, seguramente reforzarán sus aspectos defensivos y será difícil quizás de penetrar, así es que la urgencia yo creo que va a ser para los dos equipos por igual. La figura que manejan ellos habitualmente es un 4-3-3. ¿Eso te permite dominar mejor la mitad de la cancha? Porque va a tener, seguramente le genere superioridad a vos. ¿eh? Sí, bueno, en posesión ellos tienen una salida muy clara con dos y tres, que de repente sus laterales se cierran y juegan al lado del contención eh, y de repente ponen a muchos números a, 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 en la línea ofensiva mientras ellos construyen de una manera muy angosta eh, y hacen con diferentes rotaciones. De repente son los laterales los que se cierra, de repente Najar se va de extremo, se cierra Fontas y desciende el, el volante por derecha, desciende del lateral derecho y hacen ciertos enroques que, que lo, eh, lo, lo convierten en complejo. Después en la presión hacen un 4-1-4-1, de repente parece un 4-3-2-1 donde sus dos extremos se cierran, Rodríguez y Fontas, y, y de repente te puede complicar progresar la pelota por el medio, entonces será importante eh, identificar cuando, cuando poder este, romper líneas por el medio, cuando por los costados, el cambio de frente, entonces eh, es un equipo que, que cuando está bien armado creo que defiende bien a la pelota, entonces va, va a ser complicado. ¿Hiciste cuentas, hiciste números a ver cuántos puntos más o menos ¿Necesitas como para meterte en playoff? O, o la calculadora la de acá está hablando. Sí, los teníamos hace unas fechas, los teníamos, pero ahorita necesitamos tres. Necesitamos estos tres este, y de ahí iremos a, a Filadelfia a tratar de buscar otros tres, pero ahora no podemos hacer muchas cuentas porque lo más importante es el próximo partido y ganar estos tres y ya de ahí veremos. ¿Cómo están los guerreros? Bien, bien, ¿no? han entrenado espectacular, la intensidad ha sido espectacular. Eh, como los vieron el otro día contra Columbus, eh, un equipo que, que está hambriento y que, que tiene deseos y que no se rinde y que, y que los entrenadores están demostrando un, un alto nivel y que ojalá que, que pronto los resultados nos empiecen a acompañar. ¿Sí? Así. Right. Thank, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.